I remember, Dan, you, uh, you told me once before at the collegiate level you see sauna uh, uh, for recovery after intense workouts. And I tell you what, my teams, when they went to battle, when they went to war for, on a wrestling mat, it's because they were able to train harder than the other teams. They recovered quicker. We had day-to-day -day better training because we had those sessions. And that makes a huge difference. So they, another team might get five hours of training in, a hard training, we might have got 10 hours mm -hmm. of training in. It makes a big difference. Yeah. For me, it was a, a really good edge. Uh, it also brought me back to my training quicker. Nobody could understand why I could go and be ready to go again two hours after my training session. Where everybody else had to wait 24 hours. Well, I was getting, doing what's called recovery. I'd have a practice, but after activity, it was like, it felt so good. Yeah. And it was almost like uh, a massage. I didn't really understand it, probably through my entire uh, sporting career, especially as a, as a wrestler, because you go and you have uh, hard practices for two hours, no matter what you do, but in wrestling, you know, you're straining and you're using every muscle from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. And then all of a sudden, uh, you're done. And, you know, they always talk about cooling down and everything, but nobody, you know, a lot of people say, well, why would you go to a sauna? Because that's heat. Well, I went to the sauna because it felt really good. And besides feeling really good, I could relax. And I could think. And I could kind of go over that last two hours. And I didn't really learn this until later. I learned a lot about the sauna. Once I started to become more of an Olympic athlete, I started seeing some other things around the world um, that were, that was always a part of their training. And it wasn't just wrestling. It was like all their sports. Once I became a coach, I started to understand it a little bit more and so then I started applying it to not only um, myself, but to my team. Nothing's going to replace the sauna for me. It's a tool for me. It's a tool of health. And I always say for every sauna you take, it adds that much time back to your life. Yeah. You know that you feel better. Yes. And when you know you feel better, you know something's going right. Yeah, they, sometimes people say uh, look better, feel better, sleep better. There's uh, just a combination of, uh, of, of benefits. And as you say, you're living proof. And I know saunas are always good for you. Yes. Uh, it's really a great tool. It should be utilized in almost every way of life. You, uh, I think you're also a good example of regular sauna bathing, just like regularly working out. It's uh, I don't miss sort of a cumulative effect, uh, almost like interest on your money in the bank. You do it regularly and you, you have these cumulative benefits. I never thought about it that way, but yeah, I think so. Well, uh, sure do appreciate uh, you sharing your thoughts, Dan. Uh, you, uh, you're a rare person with the incredible success you've had in your uh, career in, in all aspects. and. Uh, very uh, pleased to know that you feel sauna has been a part of that. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Thank Dan. you. Really thank appreciate you. it. Yep.